Mm. We speak in the parsha about the laws which pertain to the Bezdin, to the court. And the Torah mm. tells us, mm. These are the laws you should present before them. Mm. So the inference of them means before them and not before another type of court. So Rashi says, Chazal. Not to go to a secular court. Although the secular law is identical to the Torah law, do not bring it to their secular judges. The one who brings the Jewish issue before the non Jewish judge, Mechalis Hashem. He's desecrating God's name. You're esteeming the name of the idolatry to praise them. Shenemar quotes a post in Torah, Kilo Kutsarein Tsurom. Our rock is like their rock. Vayivenu plilim, kishri venu plilim. When our enemies be, enemies become our judges, zo edus lilu yirosom. This is a testament to the elevated status of what they believe in. The law is identical. Person damages, he's liable for the damages which he caused. His obligation or restitution. The Jewish law, the secular law is identical. If you go to the secular court, Mechalas Hashem, you're desecrating God's name and you're actually giving value to idolatry. Medjish is another Vakofa Beikar. You denied. The essence, you deny God's presence. Why? What's wrong? The verdict will be the identical verdict. Yet the verdict is only purity in a Jewish court, not in a non-Jewish court. Mark tells us in Shabbos that when Moshe was Ola Boro, Moshe sent it to Shemaim to heaven to receive the Torah, the Malochim came before Hashem and said, is Kareno, man is so fickle, he's not worth mentioning. The Torah should remain in heaven. We have tired commitments, negative, positive commandments. What relevance does the Torah have to the angels? Although Moshe answered them, do you have a father? Do you have a mother? I took you out of Egypt. Were you ever in Egypt? Okay. So those few. What about the rest of them? I mean, Moshe says, do you have arms? Could you put on tefillin? Matzo, Shabbos, all crossbreeding animals, crops, has no relevance to the angels. What was even the consideration that they wanted the Torah, the Torah should remain in heaven and should not come down to the rest, terrestrial level. So we discussed in the past that the Torah we have, the mitzvahs mm-hmm. we have, in terms of the actual manifestation of what they are, they are only symbolisms representing things which are in the spiritual dimension gave the example a Jew is not is restricted to the Lama Tess Malochus 39 areas of creative, creative activity in the physical sense why this is a testament to the world that Hashem's the creator Hashem's creation what relevance does it have to our 39 creative act, areas of, of creativity it has no relevance <coughs> so the Medjish tells us that the Mishkan being a microcosm of existence so therefore the creative activity that was needed to bring about the Mishkan those actions in the physical are the equivalent of what Hashem had said to bring about the world in its entirety. The physical world, the spiritual, everything. So what we do are all these only symbolisms. But in a higher plane, they manifest themselves differently. So what the angels wanted, they wanted it, the representation of what its essence was, its significance was in the spiritual realm. It should not manifest itself and be applied and actualized in the physical. This is what they were saying. You have two laws. If Ruvain damages Shimon, there's restitution. You have the secular, you have the Jewish law. Lahavdi. Worlds apart. Their laws are for, purely for social stability, societal stability. They have to be laws, otherwise you can't maintain an existence. Our laws have nothing to do with that. Our laws are only rep- representation of the spiritual. So though the way it's stated, and it cannot be differentiated, one has no relevance to the other. 
But we, our laws are directly connected to the spiritual realm, to our neshamas. It's not to maintain ourselves as human beings. They're not humanitarian laws. They're not ethics and morals, societal ethics and morals. It's a whole different dimension. Therefore, going to the secular court, where there the basis emanates from their humanism or their societal values, has no relevance to us. Therefore, if you go to them, it's kishoyveinu, plilim, when our enemies are our judges, you get, you're esteeming or revering what they represent, which has no relevance to us. But when you go to the Jewish court, which is a reputation of Hashem's presence, His dictate, His parameters, mm -hmm. and His context of Torah, this is the ultimate Kiddush Hashem.